Here are the big questions that we are asking and I'm sure many of our viewers are asking as well. Is the Udhav government, Udhav Thakre government under threat of collapse? We've just shown you the numbers. The numbers speak for themselves. The numbers are precarious. Let's face it, it's a precarious situation for Udhav Thakre. Is the BJP waiting for the final kill in Maharashtra? Well, rhetorical question. The BJP has been waiting to throw out the Sena Sarkar for a long time now, for two years since that entire drama in 2019 with Ajit Pawar. They've been biding their time and waiting for an opportunity for Badla. So the answer to that question very simply is yes. Did the Sena miss the rumblings of Shinde's mutiny? Perplexingly, I think the answer could be yes, because the Sena appeared to have made a series of decisions that alienated Eknath Shinde further and further, from the Rajya Sabha election to the MLC elections. There seemed to have been a series of bad decisions that escalated and deteriorated the situation into an all-out crisis that India Today broke earlier this morning. Can Udhav Thakre and Sharad Pawar reunite the MLAs who've gone astray and are sitting now in that hotel in Surat? Well, remains to be seen because they're not even able to speak to them, forget about convince them. No communication lines are, able, uh, are open. The emissaries sent by Udhav have not even been able to meet Eknath Shinde and co. And finally, is Maharashtra staring at a possible government change again? It's possible. It's very, very possible. It's one of the theoretical possibilities. That's precisely what this rebellion appears to be all about. And remember that... The, the, the fact that the BJP is in touch with these rebels right now, the numbers translate into, uh, you know, uh, the magic figure for the BJP means it is definitely, definitely possible for the government to collapse in Maharashtra. But nothing is over, like we always say, until it's over. Let's go straight back to Tamlesh Sutar, uh, who's live outside Udhav Thakre's residence. Big meetings coming up in just a very short while from now. Uh, 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 Kamlesh, uh, Sharad Pawar is headed back to Mumbai, we are told, later this evening. Uh, are there any late-night huddles expected after Udhav meets with his MPs? Well, this night is endless and uh, yeah. when such type of political dramas happen, uh, obviously all the activities take place uh, uh, during the night. We have seen how MLAs were shifted to resorts uh, earlier uh, in 2019 as well and even during small elections. Uh, uh, there's, no, there's, uh, there's going to be no end to the meetings and huddles that will take place. Of course, the ones which are officially known and the ones which would take place behind the curtains. But uh, there, is a, uh, there is a lot of activity that is expected with Sharad Pawar's entry. It would be interesting to see what role Sharad Pawar will have to say. But whatever has to be done, has to be done by Uddhav Thakre is what the Mahavika Sagadi uh, constituents are clear about. Both the Congress and NCP say uh, that it is Shiv Sena's problem. And uh, though they have uh, shown their trust in Uddhav Thakre, saying that Uddhav Thakre will uh, find a way out of this. But for Uddhav Thakre, the biggest problem is how does he, yeah. get, uh, how does he get his Eknath back? But not, uh, Shiv, I would like to mention a couple of things that led to the rebellion. Uh, on Sunday, Uddhav Thakre was addressing his party MLAs who were uh, placed inside a five-star hotel uh, in suburban Mumbai just a day before the election. So like 48 hours before, uh, barely 48 to 60 hours before Uddhav Thakre was speaking to them. That was the day uh, of Shiv Sena's foundation day, Shiv Sena's 56th foundation day, when Uddhav Thakre was giving a pep talk to his party workers, party MLAs. At that point, Uddhav Thakre made two interesting references. One, he would not like to have traitors in his party. He hmm. would not like to have people who would sell their mother's milk uh, uh, to others, uh, is what Uddhav Thakre had said uh, in that uh, uh, meeting when he addressed his party meeting. Secondly, there was a cryptic reference. Now, we initially uh, couldn't uh, uh, you know, decipher that. But today, when we speak and after that rebellion, I could easily say that it was, at, uh, it was aimed at Eknath Chinde. Perhaps Uddhav Thakre had that uh, hench that uh, Eknath Chinde was uh, on his way out or he was going to uh, uh, indulge into something which is adventurous. Uddhav Thakre said that don't think uh, that you are indispensable for the party. Anybody who wants to go and join hands with the BJP can do okay. that. But what after that? Uh, if you go out, there are several options that are open for the party. That is what Uddhav Thakre said and perhaps Uddhav Thakre's right. speech there uh, was hint enough that he was sense, uh, sensing something. Perhaps he was aware of what Eknath Chinde was planning to do. I just want to tell all of our viewers that, uh, you know, Kamlesh is one journalist who probably knows more about what's going on than most people. Kamlesh also happens to be the best-selling author of a book called 36 Days, which chronicled the last time such a pot boiler happened in the Game of Thrones of Maharashtra, the famous, uh, you know, aftermath of the 2019 election. Read that book. Kamlesh knows everything about what's going on right now. And that's the reason why we broke the story. And that's the reason why we will keep you ahead on this as well. Kamlesh, thanks for the moment, my friend. Thank you. We will keep coming back to you. Like you said, it's going to be a long night for Maharashtra politics.